Hey, welcome back to 2DG. We got another beer review for you. What do we have? Today we have Hop Squatch 2 from the local brewery, one of them, um, based out of Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne, Indiana. Indiana. Uh, Matt Anthony Brewing Company, who brought home a gold medal this GABF year. winner 2015. Not uh, for this beer. Not, not, not this one, it was for their Auburn Lager. Um, but. This one, um, they released as part of their Out of the Box series that they've just started. There's been two beers uh, from that series so far. Uh, the first one was a fresh hop beer called Hop Wang, which we were going to review and never got around to it. <laughs> Truthfully, it was an average beer. Um, and then this one, Hop Squatch 2, we have had it on tap and it was... Really I haven't had Hop Squatch 2. He has, um, because that's the only one that they've released this year. No, no, no. I had Hop Squatch. No, it was Hop Squatch 2. It was, trust me. Just trust me, okay? So this one they use three different malts. I think it's um, obviously two row, and I think they use a toasted malt. Obviously it's going to be lightly toasted. Um, and then they use a red wheat. Um, and then this, they single hop it, uh, mosaic. Mosaic. Which is, I think, probably my favorite hop. Yeah, I like mosaic a yeah. lot. So. Yeah, uh, it's going to be kind of cool to get a local beer on here finally. And Anthony's been around for a while. Go ahead and crack that yep. open. Uh, they've been around for a while, and uh, to be to be straightforward, I think they've had some average beers. Well, for a while they were only doing their core at like five or six. Yeah, but um, over the last maybe year and a half, two years, they've all of a sudden started putting out some at least some ambitious beers. You know, for uh, compared to what they've been doing, and uh, for the longest time though, they were pretty much the only game in town. Yeah, there are some new ones starting to open up now. Granted. I think there's only one other production brewery in town. That's a uh, Bird Boy, but just uh, tiny, tiny. Yeah, they're I mean m nano size. And uh, um, there's some brew pubs though that are in town now. That are yeah, we're getting uh, Trouble Brewing Company, uh, T R U B B L E. Obviously, you've always had Granite City. Yeah, for, Granite well, City for ten years probably, but um, there's gonna be a new. Brow House, and then I think in a couple years they're going to have Junk Ditch. On uh, Summit City Brew Works. Yeah, Summit City Brew Works, excuse me. Yeah. They were the first new guy on the yeah. block. Yeah, um, they do some pretty good stuff yeah. too. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, hey, back to Mad Anthony. Hop Squatch 2. Sorry, I wanted Hop to Squatch actually two. show you the logo because it's kind of kind of cool. Yeah, they're actually spending some effort on that as well, which I thumbs up to them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, Right off the bat. It is a little hazy. Oh uh, um, yeah, you look at the top, you can see some... Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. looks kind of like some residual... Yeah. I'm imagining this stuff. is unfiltered. Obviously. It's quite hazy, I'd say. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice yellow, golden color. A uh, little, sure. little towards orange, slightly it's lighter. Got, got some legs to it. Yeah. Um, which I believe this one, yeah, 7.5% alcohol with uh, 55 IBUs. Um, not really much description on anything, uh, yeah, Otherwise, on the bottle, yeah. Um, we got all the smell on it, but, uh, let's go give it a smell. Yeah, definitely, because I'm getting little mm -hmm. bits already. <laughs> I really do love Mosaic. Yeah, <laughs> um, Mosaic is definitely the star of the show. Um, you get, <laughs> let me, let me get one more here. I'm getting tropical yeah. fruits. Yeah, it's gonna be all your tropical, like or stone fruit. So like, uh, yeah. some passion fruit. Yeah. You're gonna get peaches. Um, you're gonna get a little bit of pineapple in there. Um, you're gonna get a little bit of grassy note. It's yeah, not a lot. For sure. Um, it's almost like that, um, like a dry hop pellet kind of yes. rawness to it. Yes, it is. And I'm gonna say I don't, I'm not really picking up citrus, and I'm not picking up much in the piney area. Mm -mm. Um, it does kind it of smell. Might be a slight resinous. Yeah, it, it kind of smells. I don't know, like a little stale kind of thing. But I don't think that has anything. I mean, the beer's obviously going to be not stale, but no. <laughs> it's. I don't know. It's just like a like a faint kind of smell. I don't know, but it smells good. Yeah, it smells real good. Let's uh, let's give it a taste. Let's definitely give it a taste. <laughs> It's definitely not stale. It's definitely quite young. Yeah. Um, 
the balance isn't what I wanted. No. Um, you get a ton of the um, acid yeah. of the hop, a ton of, and uh, it's not repulsive flavor. <laughs> no, you get. I love the mosaic, the acids from the mm -hmm. the hop, but it, there's not much. The malt undertone is an undertone. Yeah, I get I get a lot of the actual <clears throat> red wheat characteristic. Um, I compare it to Gumball Head because Gumball Head uses a lot of red wheat, and I get that same kind of uh, flavor in there. It's not as smooth or mellow or whatever, and this doesn't really transition. Like you said, you get all the hop flavor up front, so you're going to get basically the same thing you're getting in the nose. You're getting a little bit of the peach, passion fruit, yeah. pineapple, a little bit of mango. Um, but it really dies towards about halfway mark. It, it does. peaks it, at the bitterness at the halfway mark and then just drops at the end. It's like the oils are sitting in the front of your mouth and they don't, that's, they sit there. Yeah. So, I mean, even after you swallow, you get a little hint of some bitterness, but it, the front's still driving it. It just really tastes like a hop-heavy beer that doesn't have the malt backing that it, it needs. <laughs> it, I dare to say, and I don't mean this in a terrible way, but it tastes home brewy. And that's exactly what I was about to say. And, and it could just be, like I said, because they don't, their production that they've done has always been their core five or six, however many they do. So with this out of the box series, it's the first new beers that they've packaged and released. So obviously they're gonna have to fine tune some things. Yeah. That's, that's with anything. Um, I've actually never had a Mad Anthony beer out of a bottle before. Um, I have had some out of the can, the only can that they do, which is their Summer Days, which is an Ameri uh, American wheat ale, and it's actually not bad. I didn't mind it, but uh, um, yeah, they said this one, it, it is kind of home brew level, yeah, but not I mean, like a terrible home brew, obviously. No, yeah. I think we've brewed close to this ourselves. Yeah, yeah it's just not a little bit. Yeah, it's just raw. <laughs> I think that's probably a good way. It, it was just released, I think, couple of days ago so yeah very if fresh it, if I were obviously redesigning this recipe I'd add a little more malt to the bill and yeah you want it to be a little bit more balanced than it is it's kind of like real one-dimensional but like not in a like a but uh, what's the ABV on it it's seven and a half yeah so yeah. I think you know they probably did dump it in mm. the malts and uh, they used it all up all the sugars up in uh, alcohol so Okay. Conversion. Uh, Rate Beer has it as an IPA. I want to make sure that it's not classified as the. Yeah, okay, just American side. So, regular IPA. With wheat? With wheat. Which, actually, a lot of IPAs use wheat. But. So, anyway. We'll get to the ratings. Um, like you said, IPA. Go ahead. Uh, for the style, I'm going to go about a six and a half. Like I said, it needs, it needs more balance. It needs something to balance off all that acid, and uh, it's a good start for sure. No, I taste, I'm getting a lot of the grassy nature in, yeah. the, in the taste. Um, I think that's fair. I think six and a half is fair. Um, it's, it's tough because like, I like the nose on it, and that's really doing a lot more for yeah. me. Because I know we, uh, one of our other reviews, one of our first ones was just Furious. We gave a 7 and Furious is way better, but mm -hmm. the nose isn't as good. So, yeah, um, yeah it, six and a half, the balance isn't there. Um, it just, it's like just real one-dimensional on the, it, it on is the back. And it's just, <laughs> uh, it's a little disappointing because when we had it on tap, it was, I want to say number one, darker than this. But number two, I want to say it was just better like oh just way better on tap I will say it, yeah a lot better on tap um, overall overall I'm gonna go six I think it's a fine uh, you know go-to beer if you you know can get to it um, but at the same time if I have choices it's gonna start to fall down a bit uh, now, that being said if I were my first all-grain brew attempt if it came out this well, I'd have been super stoked. So, yeah. you know, I'd have been going, oh, this is a nine beer, I did it, you know. But, uh, no, really, I think that's fair. Six. As I look forward to um, seeing them get the, you know, the fine-tuning down. And Absolutely. Like I said, it is part of their out-of-the-box series. Uh, go to uh, Matt Anthony's Brewing Company. I think their website's madbrew.com. Anyway, um, so they're the... 
availability of this isn't going to be consistent, I don't believe, like their other ones are. Um, that being said, though, overall, I'm going to also say it's six, which is really weird. I know we actually agreed. Yeah, strange. Um, like I say, yeah, it's just too one-dimensional for me, and it's the hops aren't good enough to make it good to be a one-dimensional beer. Now, Matt Anthony's, if you're watching this, don't take this negatively. We love Absolutely. what you're starting yeah. to do. Keep at it. I say, yeah, the reason I sought this beer out, number one, because it was, you know, something new from you guys, but um, also is because when I had it on tap, it... Even better. Made me, <laughs> yeah, just big fan of yours. And we really support any local brewery mm -hmm. that's going to get a GABF. Come on. I gold, say, yeah. baby. We can't hate money. You got a gold. And I still <laughs> need to try that beer. <laughs> yeah, which will be hopefully coming up in a decent amount of time. Rather, rather soon. So, hey, you know, there's our, our take on Hop Squatch 2. Local beer featuring mosaic only. We were so stoked when they came out with Hop Squatch because there was going to be a hoppy, locally created beer, you know? Uh, real quick, uh, I think the malts are probably the same as Hop Squatch the first, I guess. Um, but the hop that they used in Hop Squatch 1 was all Citra. So yeah. it's kind of cool. They're rotating hops year to year, so that'll be kind of interesting. But I, I've got to admit that I'm glad to see them go, you know, hey, we jumped the Citra bandwagon. I love Citra, but I'm glad to see him go to something... Well, Mosaic's kind of the new bandwagon. Hey, but... Mosaic just works. I mean, Citra Excellent. does, too. I love Citra. Absolutely. But everybody did it. You know, I mean, and I know Mosaic's a big hitter, too. But, man, we've, it's a good smell. <laughs> yeah, we've talked about the, uh, the, the Northeast a lot in our past reviews. Go check them out. Um, about how they're doing just killer IPs, like Hetty Topper, Julius Green, all that stuff up there, and... I want to say, except for Hetty Topper, uh, Mosaic kind of contributes most of the descriptive uh, aromas that they bring out. So they always say, like, it's real tropical yeah. and all that. <laughs> That's what Mosaic does for a beer. Love it. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Uh, what did you say? Smash the like Smash! Button. Smash it. Hulk, smash it. The like uh, button. <laughs> go Hit. ahead and leave a comment. Yeah, we'll talk to here. you. Hit subscribe. Follow our Twitter. It's in the description below. Uh, we'll be uh, tweeting this one out when it goes live, and I will be tweeting it to Matt Anthony's, I think. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so, hey. Do DJ. See you later.